Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Crusader Kings 2 with Fortmaster. At least, at least now that you're not. Oh wait, do you know you have you're in the middle of a revolt? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it right now. Okay. I'm losing, but I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, Lusitania. I think that's the name of, like, that's the name of the country. Oh, that's why they kept changing the names whenever I tried doing the AI thing. Okay, that probably makes sense. Oh, jeez, one of my kids is a redhead. Oh, no. And this, okay, so if you look at my son, he's the youngest of the ones. I swear, if you look at his portrait, he's like only four and he looks like he has a mustache already, or at least like peach fuzz. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. Oh, okay. Well, what's happening here? Court chaplain bursts into his eh, Concerned peasants, their children are plagued by nightmares of this man. Okay, what's going on here? He is... He's Roth, Erudite, Envious. Hmm. Yeah, sure, burn him. I thought I was able to uh, select my own regent. Is that not a thing? Um, that should be, but the thing is, wait, you're like 12, right, right now? Yeah. You so, you can only select your regent once you're an adult. Um, if you're, like, younger, I think the ways it works is it choose it's chosen by what your previous, or what your parent or, or the previous person ahead of you chose as your, um, regent. Oh, okay. And I am having a revolt on my hands again. Man. Ugh. And we're we're we just both have revolts, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Things have been going a little bit wild this time. Yeah. Especially with me handing away uh, half my kingdom. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why do I want to go into hiding? In another morning, I wake up feeling as tired as I went to bed. I should do something, but my uh, maybe I should spend some time alone. I guess? Oh, 99%. Almost there. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I'm at 78. Very nice. I just sended mine too. Okay, now all of these soldiers stand down. Please. Oh man, my chief, Gaylor, I don't know what that means, uh, was seduced by my prisoner, the wily Countess Elizabeth of Fess. He took her to his cot where she bashed him on the head with a wine jug and managed to make her escape. Ooh, jeez, okay. <laughs> And then we've got the African Reformation happening. Yeah, um... Uh, apparently they... Oh! Okay, wait a second. I thought they were, um... Yeah, they aren't adopting uh, uh, Catholicism. They've reformed their religion. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, okay. They're still barbarians! That's right. <laughs> oh, wait a second. What does the religion map mode look like down there, then? Uh, yeah, so you got African, you got Old African. Oh, yeah. Uh, and apparently the new official religion of France is Orthodoxy. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, I see that. Strange. Oh, wait. So I see Catholic across, uh, across there. But then the France is like red and gray striped. What does that mean? Well, well that that base. Well, I mean the base uh, color of the province. That's the actual religion of the province. When it's striped over like that, that means that. Um, actually, wait a second. What does? Because I um because I think what that means is that uh, the the ruler doesn't share the same religion as the province. Oh, okay. Because you can see, look at over at the Byzantine Empire, they have the same thing. Some of their provinces are Catholic, but then like, every, but the majority of it is like, uh, is just like they're Catholic provinces, but they're controlled by people who are Orthodox. I see. Yeah, right on. Actually, there's an example of it up in um, Norway. You can see how their um, how they how the capital is now the only one that's actually they actually are Orthodox as opposed to Catholic. Ha. Huh. Jeez, what's going on here? Okay, let's build up the treasury a bit, uh, and then in a couple years we can go to war with France. Oh yeah, Regency has ended. I'm now ruling my own thing. Yay, you're no longer a child. Oh, hello. My child needs a focus. My redhead, <laughs> my redheaded. Child with a mustache. <laughs> um, make him thrifty. The faith will prepare for war. Men against Ifrakia. Uh, is you it know that, where that is? That's right next to me, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, uh, let me, let's look it up. Diplomatic, no, no. Where's the find button? Find. Uh, how do you spell this? I thought it's right where Sicily is below me. I-F-R-I-Q-I-Y-A. Kingdom of... Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Wait, so there's it just right there then? Yep. Okay, I guess it's right there. I'll pledge my pledge my troops. Yes. If I don't choose a beneficiary uh, for the crusade, do I get to keep the titles and stuff? I think the way it works is you have to choose your stance on the matter. Um, top left of the sh or top left of the shield, and then one of the options is uh, they'll get I'll get my titles or whatever. Yeah, the so the, the three options are my beneficiary my beneficiary will get the titles. Why would I give away my titles, or I'll stick to my previous decision if you already chose one? Okay. Yeah, I I said why would I give away my titles? Oh, so the uh, the Pope won't crown me. Unless I prove my devotion to the Catholic faith by waging war against the most impious ruler whose wickedness made worthy of excommunication from our holy church. Uh, who is that? King Magnus of Sweden. Sweden? Yeah, he wants me to fight with Sweden over my crown. Okay. Are you going to? I mean, it, it's kind of insane, because I just uh, I just said that I would fight in the Crusade. I can't split my troops. I don't even have enough troops to do one. Jeez. I hate when stuff like this happens. Oh, the Countess is at it again, too. I didn't credit it when my manservant claimed to have heard that Countess Elizabeth twists and turns at night in the grips of passionate dreams, crying out my name. But now my friends are saying it, too. What, your names are twisting in passion during the night, or are you just... Uh, she, she's trying to say that, uh, she has the hots for me, but I don't believe her, because she just bashed the head in of my, uh, her jailer or whatever to escape my prison. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I wouldn't believe her either. 
Ah, oh, I accidentally clicked on War with Sweden, too, so dang it. I've got all these pop-ups popping up all over each other. Well, if you want me to- if you want to pause, you can pause. Oh, let's see. And my kingdom looks split again. I'm not sure why that is. What do you, well, oh, never mind. I'm looking at I'm looking at uh, De Jure Kingdom overlay. My bad. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, so like the, the what you're missing is like still Lusitania. Yeah. Yeah, the De Jure Kingdom. It looks like I I have like three kingdoms un under me. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. My vassals are they're steadily uh, uh, still like collecting more land up in the the ba in the Baltic. A little bit though. I feel energized. I'm no longer stressed. Nice. Hmm. Can't believe the dang Pope has me at war with Sweden for my crown. It's so irritating. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 that sounds a little annoying. I wonder if I should boat my men up there or march across France. I think... Mm, I don't know which is quicker. I, I've never actually thought about it. Yeah, and I don't... I don't mess with boats very often. Ooh, wait a second. I, I just... The, how is the... Uh, is the... Okay, good. The... The what? Actually, what was the epidemic here? Uh, camp fever. Okay, camp fever is kind of burning itself out. Thankfully, I forgot. I, I forgot nice. to check how close it was to close my gates or not. Ooh, hello. The passionate speech. Uh, passionate speech. Uh, Grand Mayor of Venice explains how all of us. Must gather our men in support, and yeah, I understand. I gain almost 200 gold for that. Thank you. Oh, wow, okay, the Byzantine Empire is in revolt. <laughs> There's both! Crus Wait, Crusade for Byzantium? Man, this Pope is all over the place. Okay, wait, the Crusaders are leaving the Catholic realm, their eyes towards Constantinople the Bi and the Byzantine Empire. At the same time, the Pope has made an, uh, an enraged speech about the vices of men and how the good faithful uh, have been led astray. He threatens every single crusader with excommunication from the church, but the crusaders uh, continue onward towards the ancient capital of Barbos. Um, what was once the bastion of Christian's faith is now desperately protecting itself, and Basilial, uh, and of the Byzantine Empire is looking for any help she can get. We will. T okay, wait. What's happening? Did the Crusade just go wrong? The Crusade changed targets against the Pope. This is wild. Okay. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is what happened historically. <laughs> oh man, hopefully the King of Sweden goes with them to that one, and I'll just uh, come in behind him and wreck him. <laughs> it just like, it just starts sieging his lands while he's in Byzantium. That's right, that's right. Oh no, I'm seasick. <laughs> I've got scurvy. Oh, oh no. I mean, I guess I'll just start transporting my army over in piecemeal. <laughs> oh yeah, I feel better now. Okay. I ate a bunch of fruits and vegetables, so uh, it's all good. <laughs> I mean, generally that's how it works. Right. At least I didn't have to smell goat farts this time. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, I forgot that that happened last time. <laughs> Oh man, my research and siege tactic is working great because I'm sieging this guy's holdings down so fast. Really? Yeah. Like, takes maybe a week and I have a holding. Nice. Okay, I'm going to disband this unit. I want to disband this unit. I want to disband this unit. Uh, purely because... Uh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay, you're falling behind. No. 
It's funny, we're at we're at Crusade for the Byzantine Empire and not the Byzantine Revolt. Oh. <laughs> well, who are the re uh, Revolt? Are they Orthodox also? Uh, I mean, I, yeah, they are. Huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, the people in Porto have embraced Portuguese culture. Oh, okay. Was that something you were trying to go for again? I'm thinking about it. Yeah, still. So I'm not. Uh, I'm not upset. <laughs> oh, okay then. Ooh. He. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. So basically, all the territory, almost all of the territory that was um, uh, that was revolting has completely broken away from the Byzantine Empire. Oh man. And there's a lot of troops down south though. Mm-hmm. Wow. And here I am. I just have like my little, my little uh, set of set of troops that are just like, um, uh, they're just doing their thing at like southern Greece and on the island of Crete. <laughs> this is more. Uh, this is more like a cr vacation than a crusade. <laughs> oh, whoa, what, what happened? What happened? Oh. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, give me a second. Okay, so with that, it kind of looks like the entire Byzantine Empire just exploded. <laughs> the end of an era. Wow, okay. Man. Uh, would you like to read this? Uh, I, I just closed it out so I could look at the map. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Yeah, I'll read it. Thanks. Constantinople falls to great uh, great cheers from Catholic Crusaders. The rest of the world weeps as the last lingering memories of the Roman Empire shatter. The former Emperor uh, Dobrinian, uh Rector Kid, has run off to uh, has run off to all realm provinces to try to restore what remains of the empire. In the middle of the fighting. Um, uh, Rurikid and uh, the Catholic sponsored pretender of the Byzantine throne died. Now, the em now Emperor Richard sits on the throne in Constantinople. He has declared himself the new ruler of the Greek Empire and will rule both Greek and Latin traditions in mind. Only time will tell if the Catholics will be uh, remembered as one as the ones who broke. Th the Christian bulwark, or the ones that restored Constantinople to greatness. Wow. Um, and then I have this other one, so it's the Lord in, uh, what is it, Kaizikos? The victories against the infidels were hard fought, but things have finally settled down, and the titles I fought for were given to, uh, I guess, my kinsmen. Um, I look forward to, oh yeah. So just... Yeah, okay, so my titles were given to whoever. <laughs> just, okay, so I can... So, I mean, that was a thing. Man, that went pretty quickly, too. Well, I mean, it, it, it kind of... I mean, I'm... Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, given the fact that, one, they were in the middle of a revolt <laughs> when the whole thing happened. we right. And I... Okay, I just thought of something. You know, we literally just balkanized the uh, the uh, the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that is that just that was a literal explosion. There goes the great purple blob. <laughs> True. Wrath of the old gods. Yeah. In oh no, now they're... N now the Africans are calling their own crusade. Oh no, man. Hopefully they go up against the, uh, the Muslims down there instead, though. Well, I mean, given the fact that the... Well, I mean, the... Okay, so the it was the Africans that did it. So they're at, like, the very bottom of the map in Africa. So the only places they can really go against are, like, Sicily, which owns that really long, like tract of territory um Nabidia, egypt and then the the place that's below you yeah 
Yep. Okay, so that's a thing that happened. <laughs> Oh man, I'm inheriting titles from people, but I met three times. Um, uh, you want me to? You want me to just pause it for a second? No, nah, it it would take me too long to figure it out for right now. Oh, okay. Oh, it said I lost a siege, but I don't have anybody fighting me. Ooh. Oh, I see. No, there's somebody in the south. You siege? Yeah, uh, the army of Sweden came over to my lands. I'm in their land sieging, and they're in my land sieging. Oh, I mean, I guess that wor I guess that's how that works. <laughs> uh, I think so. Wait, we we got about another 200 years of gameplay left. Nice. Because if I remember correctly, the end date for Crusader Kings 2 is 1453. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I, I literally just had five pop-ups. Did the same happen to you? Yep, yep. Uh, it's a Kuzumate Faith Triumphant. The Mono Feast Faith Triumphant. The Knights of Korea. The Bashi Order. Knights of Mor yada yada. Yeesh. And my Chancellor died. Whoa. Idle council members, what are you doing? Uh, anywhere to proselytize? No? Okay, so um, I guess let's go on then. Okay. I have one of my, uh, wait, do I have a war I can declare in, like, Sicily or something? Now, actually, wait, let's, let's continue here. I, oh, no. Uh, uh, what? I made another courtier, uh, cry. It's the third one in a short week. And I feel embarrassed about it. Is this who I really am? <laughs> so I could oh, either no. be cruel or kind. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take kind, I think. <laughs> oh, um, there's just something I just remembered uh, that I discovered while I was playing my own solo game. So you know how you get uh, top right, the little pop-ups? Uh, yeah. So I discovered that um, So uh, if you hold down shift or, or control when you click... Uh, shift will get uh, will close all of that same type of message at the same time, while Control will literally close all of them at the same time. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, th I, that saved me a lot. <laughs> oh wait a second. Um, I can vassalize the Knights of Caltarva. Oh. So wait, where are these people and? Uh, why is it giving me that option? Get out of my way, Papa! Calatrava. County of Calatrava. Oh, okay, so I guess it's like a, a mercenary group or something that's in my territory? Huh. Cost me 300 gold. Um, I can afford that. Oh, yeah, okay, I just have a new vassal right there now. Okay, then. Cool. <laughs> I think I'm going to declare war on this, uh... A Sardinia. Nah, I have to declare a claim, otherwise it's going to cost me 3,000 gold. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, we're just going to fabricate a claim. Hmm. So, I could um, abolish counts. I could abolish um, the council power. If I... Let's see... Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I could abolish council power. Okay, um, let's see how this is going. Okay, absolute rule. Thank you. Very nice. What's my... Oh, okay, I have the ambition to make a friend. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh no, my peasants are uh, in unrest because I'm not crowned by uh, uh, the church. It's not my fault! Right? The dang warmonger pope is having me fight for it. Oh, what? 
Oh, now I have a pet. Now I have a. Now I have a rebellion. Oh no. Raise the troops. <laughs> Oh yeah, I see them there. About six thousand dudes. Well, I got eleven thousand. Oh no. No, I'm saying I have eleven thousand. Oh good. Yeah, yeah. I had to hire some mercenaries to help me because there's. Oh no, they've they've left me. <laughs> I have enemies in my. Uh... Yeah, in my provinces, but now I can't fight them. Oh, I'm, what? An I'm broke. So wait, another one? Where's the second one? Are you kidding me? It's up in Estonia! Oh, no. <laughs> uh. Okay, so uh, here's what we're going to do. Once this army trounces this peasant army, uh, you're going to go up... Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, somebody else is fighting them for him. Okay. I can live with that. Thank you, a random person. I've had a thieves guild pop up in Tangier. Ah, oh, great. Because I can't pay my men. <laughs> Army, go back here. And dang, Sweden won't send their armies to fight me because I would destroy them. So they keep trying to sneak around behind me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I need Imperial Administration. Uh, but to get Imperial Administration, I need the rank of Emperor. Oh, yeah. I can't pay any of my sheriffs or my magistrates, and now there's Thieves Guild popping up in all of my counties. Oh, no. Um, oh, jeez, okay, you're pretty in debt, um... Yeah, very. Oh, jeez, okay, I just noticed that that was only, like, 32 tokens, I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it's a thought that counts, right? Yeah. That's gonna do it for this episode. If you want to catch another one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell. <laughs>